Welcome back everybody on this Wednesday night where it has become partly cloudy and clouds will continue to move in through the nighttime hours and maybe some rain showers developing late, late tonight. I think it's more likely that those of you watching in Illinois will get the rain first. Of course, that's usually the way it happens, but then rain will spread across the entire MyFox 10 viewing area during the day tomorrow with rain and maybe even a few thunder showers. I don't think they'll be severe. Uh, I don't think we're going to have severe weather. Meteorologists Meteorologist Lindsay Monroe will talk about that more tomorrow morning, but right now it just doesn't look like we have the makeup to uh, uh, have severe weather. But clouds are moving in and some rain now, of course, over here in the central part of Missouri. Eventually that will make its way across the Mississippi River and then through the central part of Illinois through the nighttime hours into the first part of the day tomorrow. So it's 33 degrees here in Terre Haute. Casey has 38, Robinson 36, Vincennes 37, only 37, and Mattoon 37 degrees. So, and you can see actually where the uh, clouds are, where uh, it's a little bit warmer than it is where there uh, aren't, aren't as many clouds. 33 degrees in Terre Haute, 38 in Linton, 34 in Rockville, and 31 in Bloomington. Well, the wind is from the southeast now at seven miles per hour. It feels like a, more of a wind than that. Uh, Paris, nine miles per hour. Robinson, six. Vincennes, nine. Olney, eight. And Flora, eight. So we have a wind chill factor. It's 27 here in Terre Haute. Paris, 26. Casey, 33. And Robinson, at 31. So a look at the Storm Team 10 future cast takes us through the overnight hours into tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock Eastern Time. That's when at least some of us will be having some rain, some light rain showers. I don't think it's going to be pouring down rain, but it does look to me like we'll have some light rain showers. And then as the day goes on, maybe a little heavier amount of rain developing around noontime tomorrow, chance of rain and a rain uh, also possibility throughout the course of the afternoon tomorrow. And in some cases, maybe some heavier rain, especially if you get underneath one of those thunder showers, then you have the possibility of having a little heavier rain. And we then get into tomorrow night and into Friday. And it looks like the rain will taper off. In fact, the rain may stop altogether for a good portion of the day on Friday, but then pick back up as we get into Saturday. So forecast for tonight, clouds moving in, rain possible late, 33 for the overnight low. And then for tomorrow, scattered showers and thunder showers, 53 for the daytime high tomorrow. And for tomorrow night, showers and thunder showers, 40 for the overnight low and the seven day forecast we get into Friday. Well, after some rain on Thursday night, I think it'll taper off and stop. And then on Friday, a high of 54, maybe some peeps of sunshine on Friday. And then Saturday, the rain moves back in with a high of 48. Sunday, a little warmer, high of 58 with some sunshine. Monday up to 63, but a chance of rain. And Tuesday and Wednesday, the temperature drops down into the 50s. That's a little below average for this time of year, but it looks like it'll dry out on Tuesday and Wednesday. Stay